Hello, my reading friends. Welcome to story time. Today, I'll be reading Lola at the Library. A special request from Jamie in Orlando, Florida. Hi, Jamie. If you have this book, go and grab it and we'll read it together. Come read with me. Lola at the Library by Anne McQuinn Illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw Lola loves Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, Lola and her mommy go to the library. The library opens at 9 o'clock, but Lola is ready to go long before that. She puts all the books she borrowed last week in her backpack. Her library card is also very important. The library is not very far away, so Lola and her mommy always walk there. Lola and her mommy give back the books from last week. The librarian buzzes them through the machine. There is a special section in the library just for children. It is really cool. Nobody ever says, shh. Sometimes there is singing. Lola knows all the words and the hands for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Sometimes there is story time. Lola loves that. After story time, Lola chooses her books. In the library, she can have any book she wants. Lola likes stories with bears and anything with shoes. There are so many. It takes ages to choose. Mommy has some books, too. She and Lola take them up to the desk. Lola must bring her books back in two weeks. But she will probably be back for more long before then. Lola and her mommy always get a snack after visiting the library. Mommy has a cappuccino and Lola has juice. Whenever Lola has been good, her mommy lets her taste the foam. Mmm. Then, it is time to go home again. Every night, after Lola is tucked in bed, her mommy reads her a story. It is the best way to end the day. Lola and I have something in common. The library is our favorite place. Libraries can open an entire world of wonders beyond anything you can ever imagine. I hope you enjoyed our story today, and thanks for reading with me. Until next time, I hope to see you at the library.